this is Marjana, and this is my rendition of a Valentine's Day look or a casual Valentine's Day look. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching! So starting off, I'm using my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer to prep my face. And then I'm going in with my Tarte Water Foundation in Light Neutral and putting that all over my face. And you guys, it is so amazing. I'm using it for the first time and it legit like stayed all day. Um, and it was actually super watery, which was really surprising. Like it actually feels like water in your face. Hence, it's called Water Foundation. But now I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and Light in and putting that under my eyes, on my brow bone, on certain parts of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and other high points. I'm also using my Maybelline Strobing Liquid and Light Iridescent and just putting that under my eyes with my concealer and blending that in. Fun! Ooh, ooh. Look at me, blending. So I didn't have enough concealer on, so I went in and put on more. I also used some more of the strobing liquid, and I got too much on my fingers, so I tried to wipe it off, but I didn't have anything to wipe it on, and my sister told me to just wipe it on the bed, so I did that. <laughs> now I'm using my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder and just baking my face with that, and obviously for some reason I always bake my entire face and not just underneath my eyebrows. Um, and now I'm laughing because my little sister just told me that my baby cousin for some reason has like model pics on his Instagram and I was just like, what is happening? I'm going in with my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Dramatic Black and putting that all over my eyelids. Um, it's a good base. Black is a good base, so is white um, for when you want a deeper color and a better color payoff for your makeup. Um, I'm also doing a spunky eye, so it helps. And now I'm also using my Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette and using the color Smolder all over my lid and just going over the black. For my crease, I'm using Lure from the Anastasia Prism Palette. And it's this really light pink color. Um, I thought it was a nice color to go underneath my main transition color. Uh, you'll see that next, but it's this pretty pink. I don't know how else to describe it, like a baby pink. Um, it looks sort of brownish as well. And for my main crease color, I'm using Love Letter from the Anastasia Renaissance palette, and I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day. Also, the name is just like super appropriate, so why not use it? And I'm also using Lure to sort of help transition that better. And now I'm using my Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in Perversion and just using that for my waterline. Um, the top one as well as the bottom one. I just said as well, really weird, but okay. And my eyes look super red. So now I'm also curling my lashes and now I'm using my Wet n Wild Mega Liner and creating a cat eye. a lot of hair guys, it's getting in the way. So now I'm using a brush to smudge my bottom eyeliner to create a more smoky look. I have so much hair. So I'm going back in with my Naked Smoky palette and taking the color Black Market to create a more gradient effect on my eyelids. So I'm adding that just above my eyeliner. For my lashes, I'm going in with my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and adding that to my eyelashes. I'm also going to be using my e.l.f. lashes in Starstruck. And it's the first time I've used them and they look amazing, but I'm doing this off screen and they look good. For my highlight, I'm using my Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter and I'm using that in the inner corners of my eyes. And apparently, I just got a phone call and I promise you I'm really not that popular, so it was probably my sister or something. So I'm also using my eyeliner for the crease of my eye because a little bit got smudged off. Um, and now I'm crying. So don't cry guys because it'll ruin your makeup. I'm brushing out my eyebrows and I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ash Brown and using that to fill in the sparse spots of my eyebrows. 
I'm also singing. So you guys, my mom always tells me that I look like a ghost or like a witch with my hair and now I totally understand what she's talking about. My hair makes me look like a total witch. It's like super big. Uh, now I'm brushing off all of the loose setting powder and now I'm setting my eyebrows with my Benefit Gimme Brow. I'm also using my champagne pop um, and adding a highlight underneath my brow bone. And for my contour, I'm using my Kat Von D palette and taking all of the colors and swiping it across my face in a three motion. Apparently, it takes me a very long time to make myself bronze. But look at that payoff. I'm also using it for the tip of my nose as well as down the bridge of my nose. Well, not the bridge of my nose, down the sides of my nose. And now I'm taking my champagne pop and putting that down the bridge of my nose as well as at the tip of my nose. I'm also using it to highlight my cheekbones and I really enjoy this part of the process. Now I'm going in with my favorite blush ever, my Lychee Rose Gold Blush. For my lips, I'm starting off by lining it with my Rimmel Lip Liner in Epic. Um, and then I'm going in with my absolute favorite lip color, my Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Lolita. And this is the finished look. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!